Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're, we're gonna... We're doing the quest for our friend with the burial. Yes. We're gonna go find Hayes. There's people in my house right now and I'm like really weirded out by it. So I'm like weirdly quiet maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm weirded out. <laughs> there's a bunch of people in my house and they can hear me because there's no insulation. I'm just gonna be awkward about it. Raps. Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in I peace. I mean, they're everywhere. This is their house. You buried him in their house. Here we go. A raptodon colossus. Let's try to break its leg. Suffers from constant constipation. That's a bummer. Let's do that. I've had quite enough of you. <laughs> Is it already dead? Oh, oh, dang! It's already dead. I know there's more. We were destined to prevail. We were. We were? Is that? Is that what you think? <laughs> I don't know why I picked that up. I don't use any of it. All right, here we are. Easy peasy. Buried near the surface of Hayes Graves is a small lockbox. Its hinges rust through, and its wood almost completely rotted. It fa nearly falls apart in your hands, but you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters. Is it, it's Karen, right? Karen. I was gonna say Sharon, or Caron. I was gonna say Caron, but I. It's the Pluto moon, <laughs> and the Greek god of the ferrying of the dead. Oh, I was like, what do I want to do now? Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse son off without Son of a saint, her. that's good. That's a nice one. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's The guy him. we just talked to? I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time Why ago. Why didn't you go look for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell okay, to do so. Okay, that's fair. Oh, now I'm sad. That's a concerning amount of baggage to carry around. Calm down. Calm down, self. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront it, if that's what she's... Well, she, can't, she is, even if she doesn't realize it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now, come on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Oh, that kind of thing sticks with you. But all you can do, I don't know, I read I read a book recently that said, you know, if you wake up screaming, like it was, you know, dealing with somebody who had done like, you know, really in intense things, you know, and done terrible things to survive. And they were like, you know, he was like, if I, am I going to wake up screaming for the rest of my life? And the woman he was talking to said, basically, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but all you can do is make sure that you do enough good in your life that when you wake up screaming you can have something that you've done to balance it out you know which i don't know if that actually would work for some people but i don't know it seemed like very in a way practical advice like not like all mushy gushy oh yeah someday you'll get over it and not like totally fatalistic like Nope, you're never gonna get over it. It was just like, you know, all you can do is is what you can do. You can do good and be a good person. And like you'll have like, you know, you'll have that at least. Like it's not gonna change what you did, but it will it be something to help balance your scales, I guess, if you wanna live on more of a like a balancing scales act sort of morality thing. Spectrum. Which is nice in its own way. Simple in some, you know, not not, not always simple, but like in in some ways, like it could also lead you to be like, well, I did terrible things, and now it'll be fine if I just do good things for the rest of my life. Like that's not that's obviously not how it's supposed to work, you know. 
And, like, then it's like, well, how... Now I'm getting way too into it, where it's like, well, the bad thing is, like, super heavy on the scales, and the good things are pretty light, so you gotta do a ton of good things to make up for the bad thing. And, but you can't make up for bad things, necessarily. All you can do is try to do better. So. Anyway. <laughs> That's philosophy hour. <laughs> We're done with that now. <laughs> So it looks like we're gonna have to go off planet, which is a bit of a bummer, but I don't know why. I was like, this is definitely where I need to go. Um, oh, is it? Where's the, where's the elevator? Um, uh, there it is. Oh, not an elevator? Oh, wait. Elevator. Yay. <laughs> Are you guys coming? Oh, what? Oh. Whoa, oh. I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the door, like, locked, and all I had to do was hit a switch. That was- Whoa, jeez! <gasps> <gasps> Did you see that? I definitely saw that, right? Like, there was definitely, like, a, a whole wrapped it on, like, Colossus or something that was just- That just, like, appeared in the door. I wonder if it's because I messed with the door a bit. Like, I, I closed it- I opened it and then I closed it really fast, but I got in here, and and then there were well no there weren't even raptodons in here before it was just uh, it was just humans why did the why was there a rap I'm being haunted by raptodons maybe that's one of my things that's hallucinations hallucinations of raptodons anyway I don't even I don't even remember what I was saying. I got really freaked out by <laughs> this raptodon. Like half a raptodon, like a big one appearing in the elevator. I really don't even remember. Oh yeah, you're still, you're just chilling? Can't believe the boss man is dead. How can C3 go on without um, him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's you and that other lady downstairs. She's outside. What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh, I forget. You're, uh, you're, you're talkable face to face now. It's the strangest thing. I still can't receive any incoming off world communication. Uh, I'm so sorry. That's probably because I haven't shut down the broadcast yet. <laughs> Why, pray tell, are you standing here then? Wait, I know. This is the part where you fleece me for no. more money. No! Don't bother explaining how my business will suffer if you don't shut the broadcast down. I already I don't know. want more money from you. This merits an apology, Captain. It was my duty to warn you of threats, both physical and otherwise. <laughs> but I failed to prepare you for this man's insufferable <laughs> nature. Yes, but you put up with me because I'm a veritable genius. And because I pay you well for it. Here, take this. If it will incentivize I... you to work for I... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yoka needs a favor, that's all, buddy. Oh, great. I love <laughs> doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us Aww. friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your month's labor. Uh -huh. Persuade, lie, a lucrative. Co she's your friend and she's in need. You're the only. I don't know if this will work. I don't know if pulling the friendship card works on like a narcissist, but we'll see. Tug on my heartstrings. Oh, you do you? have some. Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra, too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh. Aww, good luck. he's got a heart. Be a doll and shoot any marauders I'm, you spot I'm on the way down. I'm actually gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, star cross troopers, nice. Um. So now, this is interesting how much, like, there's. There's not, like, these bigger quests, like, you're, you're planet hopping all the time. Or, I guess, location hopping. Uh, give me out. 
Because now I oops, wrong one. I need to do <sighs> didn't I I thought I went in there and didn't find anything. Radio free monarch, that's what we're trying to do. Oh jeez, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, oh right, that's the boy. Oh boy, this is, I can't believe that's still here. I could, I could probably go finish it. All right, well, let's see, we've, we've got time. Let's, um, oh, complete bolt with his name for Sandra to start earning MSI, that's right. That's a faction quest. Okay, well let's, Let's, that should help us in our quest. Wipe any terminals. You want data deleted? Oh, I could blackmail you even more, perchance. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Yeah. Let's get some more goodwill so it'll potentially help us get get in good and or like be able to persuade him to like you know hey maybe you take like monday wednesday friday and he takes like saturday tuesday thursday or something because <laughs> i don't think those two in particular like they don't they're not well they do actually have conflicting messages because one's the one guy's the corporate and the other guy's the philosophist the icono class iconoclast you know they're all blurring together. Um, yep. Yep. Oh, what? That, why? Blah. Can I? I want to fast travel to outside. Okay. Yes. Surely, wandering this wasteland again would be a pleasure, but not not right now. Okay, now my dog's opened the door, so I gotta be really quiet. No, you stay here, since you've opened the door. Now I gotta close the door. And trap my dog in here with me and hope he doesn't bark. Go lay down and take a nap. We just took a very long walk. Oh, off he goes. Little nappy time. Uh, yes. We have cleared this area out unless they respawn. If I hear you say survival <laughs> of the fittest one more time, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Survival's about persistence and luck. So weapon proficiency and adaptive skill play no part whatsoever in your mind. If it does, it ain't enough. I've gone and outlived the best hunters I ever knew. It is neither luck nor random chance. At times, destiny may not seem fair, but there is a reason for life events, even if that reason is not immediately obvious. Please. Nature's only got one reason for death. To feed the one still standing. Interesting. To slightly, like, slightly, but like... They're very, like, they're very different, but also only slightly different perspectives on... Oh, you're Incoming. still? Oh. Oh. I can't hit you. I can't reach. Oh. Why can't I reach? Oh. 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 Ow, stop hitting me. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Anyway. They're both the, the the whole like survival argument. They're they're kind of Careful. arguing. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Can I, or both. Yeah, yeah 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 I know but I'm 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 oh I'm going to the oh okay uh here we go. Here they come. Why did my I smite you in the name of the law? Why did I slow down? I am overburdened all of a sudden? When did I when did I become overburdened?
Nope. Oh, what did I, what did I pick up? What happened to me? So much stuff. What? I'm like way overburdened. Can I? How much is this? I'm gonna drop it. Only five. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just need to go. I just need to go. I need to go sell things. But unless this this overburdened thing is like temporary, because of certain. Cause it wasn't- I wasn't this bad. I could run before- okay, I was like, it must be like a status effect. Where it's affecting my carry weight for a second. I was like, there's no way, cause I thought it was 270. Anyway, oh, in this house. Thanks. Ow, stop spitting me- at me. I don't like it. Oh good. I don't wanna- don't wanna talk to any of them. Ow, stop, ow, ow, acid. It burns us. Ow, I do. I have the corrosion symbol. Stop. Um. No, no. I was trying to look for a way in. Oh my. Oh my jeez. What is that symbol? The oak is great. I understand. <laughs> okay, in this building. Uh, optional arms building keep where? <laughs> ooh, ooh, rooftop access. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love ladders. They make me feel powerful. Oh my god, oh, I thought smarted you game, even though the game's like throwing neon signs at my face. <laughs> like, please use this extra stuff that gets you around into other places. And I'm like, haha. Oh, hey, look. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh! oh. Snarl like you're after <laughs> Okay, no. I don't think they figured that out yet. Who are you? Oh, thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. Uh oh. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. Then Raptodon, who's a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? Uh huh. You got locked in? How? It's easier than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decision. I just use my my scythe. I need to get into that room. Phew. Thanks, lady. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Oh, no. Maybe no. it's a rat belly. No. 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 Okay, so you say you're trapped. I don't want to have to search through the bazillion raptodons that I don't look at anymore because I don't use their guts. Seeing as how you're trapped, you might as well answer a few things for me. Sure. Beats not answering questions. I guess. Who are you getting locked in? Oh, okay. Let's. Her name's Huxley. Huxley! I'm an iconoclast runner. The iconoclast runner. Fast as we've got. Why didn't you run away? I'm a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm, uh, I'm, <sighs> sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, How you know? small is it? Is there a lock on a closet? Tell me about the iconoclast. Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? 
I want to get back to Amber Heights. I am going to let you out, but I have to go through all these questions first. So get locked in closets often. My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping, on account of raptodons wanting to munch on my head. But, I mean, okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so as you don't get eaten by monsters. So as you don't get eaten. Wait, really? I wasn't serious. <laughs> oh, uh, neither was I. Who'd hide in a trash can? Gross. Gross. I'd rather be eaten? I get- No, you hide in the trash can. Uh, you got any, uh, Bolt 52s? Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. It's so relatable some, and for a lot of people. <laughs> Back to the door. Get me out of here! Okay, don't yell at me. Is there a way to open it from the inside? What do you mean? It's locked. From the inside? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so mean. Don't be afraid in there. You'll get a handle on the situation in no time. But these doors don't lock. These, but these doors lock from the inside. You should be able to just open it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like you can't. Like I guess it's not locked from the outside. Like it's locked from the inside. Try the handle. Turn it upward. Wait, upward? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. It I don't have to search. Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. <laughs> now I'm out here. I'm headed back to Amber. Oh Heights. look, we got Iconoclast. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Um Oh wow, okay, we can just attack her. Are you sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? <laughs> Uh, good luck. Thanks a lot, lady. Wait, oh, I should have asked for something. No, no. Fresh silver hang. Okay, we gotta see. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Good. We got it. That's what we needed. I was worried she was gonna take it. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. I don't you it's funny I I realized earlier I was like I for for somebody who's really into melee and doesn't really use ranged weapons I sure I sure pick up a lot of ammo but I think my companions use it I think I hope they do because otherwise I just have a giant stockpile of ammo that I don't need <laughs> why is everything got to be locked <laughs> what Beanie? Oh, I don't have a beanie yet. Oh, I can get it that one guy, and then he can keep looking like a hoodlum. The the young guy who talks to the medic lady who freaking is going to lead him down into a path of non-righteousness or something. <laughs> I don't know. The, the piracy path. Okay, so we got... Volt with his name... Oh, and, uh, oh, 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 can I, can I go, hang on, <clears throat> what, we gotta go down here, <gasps> oh, jeez, what, what's your problem, <laughs> ah, <God. laughs> stimmy lotion, that's <sighs> right, all right, hello, welcome to the archives, let me look at him. Padding his reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, and or taglines. Oh, these are the executive reviews. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal and funny references. Sanjar also displays a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegating it. A trend unbecoming in upper management. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Sanjar's work habits suggest a preoccupation with details and a startling lack of vision. We cannot recommend him for further advancement. Needs improvement in the following aerial areas. Interpersonal communication, brevity, delegation, idea generation. Okay. Oh, that's, uh, Sanjar's. Okay. Oh, Dora is the one who helps Sanjar. Hack. Oh, yeah, buddy. 
Graham's understanding of product messaging and branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low-level editor. He has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines. However, Graham has issues with brevity and shows constant, consist, consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats. Some of his work has been flagged for subvers, subversive undertones. <gasps> Recommend further supervision. We already did that. Uh... Dora shows a real knack for brief but compelling presentations supported by catchy slogans. Her delegation skills are also top-notch. She could build a lengthy meeting around any topic and emerge with plenty of work assigned. Okay, and she's the... Mm, she's, of course, this is how it is, right? I mean, she is recommended for promotion here, but of course, she's the capable one and she's the assistant, right? Right? It's just how it goes all the time. Ah, I scream. <laughs> anyway, I wonder now... I'm wondering now if she is like trying to like because she didn't get the promotion because they left the corporate thing if she's like got any sort of resentment or anything because she could have been promoted above sanjar and now she's stuck being his assistant and he's an, kind of an idiot <laughs> but not like a total idiot <laughs> but kind of sure uh you know let's delete it i'm a nice i'm a ni i'm a nice person And I've read it, so I can use it to help me. Blackmail. Or, or be nice. And not blackmail. Oh, wait, alright. I want that. Okay. I think we've done a good job. We helped with a burial, and we're getting reputation increase with Iconoclast, and we'll get the reputation increase with, with MIS, or MSI, rather. So that was cool. I didn't realize I was just gonna get two out of that. But also, we need to take into account the fact that the Iconoclasts were scrounging around here, and potentially looked at that data. You know? Uh, and are looking for are looking for data, and, and, and stuff they can use against Sanjar and his Albeit modified corporate ideas that he has. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to go now. Actually, when this goes up, I'll be getting ready to stream. So if anybody is watching this and gets to the end of the video, I will definitely be streaming at least on the day this is uploaded. Uh, we're streaming Dragon Age 2 right now. So feel free to come hang out. The link's in the description for Twitch. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying this series at the very least, and I hope to see you all soon in the next one.